Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Is Dr. Kim here on this Wellness Wednesday? Hoping all is well. Hey, hey, hey. We said that we would be sharing with you today live for Kim's Kind Kitchen. And we are in Kim's Kind Kitchen. How y'all doing? Hey, hey. Getting ready for lunch. I am getting ready for lunch and I wanted to enjoy lunch with you. So we, um, a couple of months ago, launched Kim's Kind Kitchen. And in launching Kim's Kind Kitchen, there were some desires that we had in mind. Those desires were to show you, your family, healthy swaps. These healthy swaps were going to fortify families with a certain formula. What is that formula or what was that formula and what have we been doing? Faith, food, fitness, and fun. We said faith, food, fitness, and fun is going to fortify the families not only in this season and time that we've been in, but beyond, and, and that's been our desire. So today we said that we were gonna do it live, and um, we were gonna have some conversation, and that conversation will be um, surrounded around the fact that our city is entering to a new phase this Friday that new phase this Friday that we're entering in is phase four. Hey, hey, my sissy, my sissy is watching. Hey, <laughs> love you, love you. So uh, Friday, they are reopening um, shopping areas, um, salons, barber shops, restaurants, uh, gym areas, um, so that uh, you all can get your fitness on manufacturers and so many other openings are happening this friday so in the midst of the openings happening this friday we're going to give you some things to fortify you because our faith and our god has sustained us until this point has brought us this far and i just wanted to remind you that you and i we didn't come this far to only come this far, okay? We came this far and we are in the land of the living to declare we will not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. So first of all, that is our faith and that is our faith confession that, that we are living in the land of the living and we're going to see the goodness of God. So say that with me. We're going to see the goodness of God. Yeah, we're going to see the goodness of God. And as we are entering in and going back into these different phases, we are going to do the necessary things that we need to do to fortify our families, to fortify our faith, to make sure our food and our fitness is on point, right? So what are some of the things that uh, you've been doing during this time that, that we've been, I want to say, sheltered, um, taking refuge? What are some of the things that you've been doing. If you want to share those, you can share those here uh, right, uh, right in the comment box. But I will tell you some of the things that I've been doing and helping my family and others. Uh, first of all, first thing in the morning when we get up and we give thanks to God for waking us up, right? Um, then we pause, we meditate, we set our day, uh, we command our mornings. We say what we're going to do, but we hydrate to feel great. So I want to make sure that today and throughout this season, we are hydrating. 70% of the universe is covered in water. And guess what? We ourselves as a universe, as the earth, as a human being, we are over 70% waters ourselves from our brain all the way down to our toes. They function, they lubricate, they move, they exist with water. So water is important. Water is energy. 
Water itself is life. And so you and I, we have to stay hydrated with life through this time. What is that water gonna do for us? It's going to take oxygen and it's going to take nutrients we put into our body and distribute it where it needs to go. It's going to make our brains flow. It's going to make our digestive go. It's going to make every system in your body flow in concert. And so water itself is it's a simple thing, but it's a most powerful thing. Okay. It is vital. It is key. It is important. We cannot exist without water. Good water, not water that's been uh, manufactured or uh, have certain chemicals in it, but pure spring, good water. I am saying to you, you cannot get enough of it. It flushes toxins, okay? It, it, it helps if you had any headaches, uh, migraines, you you could always trace it back to water. If you're having any type of digestive issues, um, I know quite a few people that has um, digestive challenges and issues, and guess what will help it? What will heal it? What will support it? Water, pure water, spring water, alkaline water. So I cannot say to you enough, get your water. So one of the things that I do to make sure that throughout the entire day, I am consistently sipping on water or drinking water because you need to drink at least half your body weight in water. I make sure that it exists all around me from getting up in the morning is right by my bedside to here, everywhere, water machine, water in the seal, water, water wherever you go. So that it's, it's, it's really no excuse. You'll be like, uh, you'll see it because what you see, what's in front of you, you'll, you'll start grabbing. You'll start grabbing your water. So make sure you have water. Here, let me show you something else. If, if I'm working out. So I just left the kitchen and I am going into my front area. But even in my front area, you will see water. You see that water? Make sure you have water. Make sure you have life all around you. Very, 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 very important. Even if you're taking like minerals, supplements or whatever, how do you think that that water will be evenly distributed through your body, through water? So I hope you get it. I hope you got it because as I told you, uh, this universe is 70% water. We, a universe, Earth, is over 70% water. Drink your water, okay? We got it, drink your water. Now, after I say drink your water, I make something called healing water, to which Kim's Kind Kitchen has done a AM beverage with benefit routine. It's on my YouTube channel. We'll add that YouTube channel here so that you can go and catch up on all Kim's Kind Kitchen. So we are real building, right? So I told you my routine in the morning, what I do in the morning, my AM uh, beverage with benefits. The healing water is thyme, ginger, key lime, hot water. Thyme, ginger, key lime, hot water. So after I've hydrated, uh, as soon as I get up in the morning, at least about 20 to 30 ounces, I'm, that's the next thing that I'm going to. Heat something hot. Sipping on something hot all day that is beneficial for the body helps the body. And especially thyme, ginger, key limes, all of these help the immune system, the digestive system, and 70% of the immune system is in the digestive system. So I know we're talking about immunity, immunity, keep your immune system up, keep your immune system up. In order to keep your immune system up, you have to protect the mothership, I call it. 
The mothership is the digestive system. So if you are supporting the digestive system and everything connected to the digestive system, which is the immune system and the circulatory system is around that too. These systems supporting each other in concert is going to help us all live life well. And especially uh, with us emerging and, and re-emerging. If we do, each and every one of us, if we do what we need to do to fortify our own selves and keep ourselves strong, then there's a lot of things that will not even come nigh our dwelling. Yes, Psalms 91 says that it will not come nigh thy dwelling. And guess what? Faith without works is dead. So we got to do our part. We have to do our works. We have to make sure that we are eating right, living right, doing right, doing everything that we need. Now, I'm sure you've heard that over 70%, over 70% of how you sculpt this body and how you look with the body, it, it comes from the kitchen. It's, it's not just fitness, but it's also food. So you want to make sure the different things that you're putting in your body and how you're putting these things in, in your body and when you're putting these things in your body is helping you to thrive. So I have a system from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. is the most heaviest detoxing time of our body. It's when our body is detoxing the most. That's why I like to work out in between those times. Your body is detoxing the most. That's why I like to hydrate during that time. Your body is detoxing the most. And I don't actually like to, uh, I want to say, chew my food during that time. You can have food and nutrition that's liquid before 11 o'clock. So normally, uh, after my water, after my healing water, I will do a smoothie. You can mill up your smoothies. If you're a person that says, I got to have my breakfast, I got to eat, you can eat in a jar. You can do your smoothie in a jar, okay? Let me show you what I'm talking about really quick. So I'm going to leave you for a second. Okay, we're in Kim's Kind Kitchen, right? I'm going to show you something real quick how you can, if you're saying um, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, breakfast. What does it say? Break fast. You're breaking a fast from the day before because you're doing intermittent fasting because you're cutting off at a certain time. So if you're breaking your fast and you need to get some breakfast, I normally have my breakfast right here in a Nutribullet, okay? And you say you wanna work out or you wanna mill it up or you want something you know robust, give me one second. These are dates, can you see that? All right? These dates have the seed in it. Normally, um, not normally, Everything that I eat has a seed in it. It has to have a seed, like fruits, if I'm going to eat it. So, even if you take three dates, all right? Three dates a day keeps your blood pressure down, keeps your digestive system flowing with all the eliminations you need, all right? Gives you the iron that you need. So I'm doing this because I'm pitting. I'm taking out the seeds. All right? This is going to be really simple because we're going to do this every day, right? We got to fortify ourselves, especially with all this reopening. So that right there will give you vitamins and minerals that you need for the day alone because if you and I have the iron that we need in our body is like a magnet. It's going to attract all the nutrition, all the minerals that you need in a day simply because you put some iron in it. Okay, you can get all the minerals and food, the nutrition that you need from food alone. Okay, so we have our iron, right? So now let's do some brain food. 
This, these are walnuts, all right? These are your omegas, your good fats, brain food. When you actually look at a walnut, what does it look like? It literally looks like a brain. Why? Because it feeds the brain, omega, omega fats, nutrition. So, depending upon how big your hand is, I normally just do a handful, all right? So, a handful is good enough. So, I put that in, all right? Now, we're milling up our smoothie, right? We all have hormones, so we all need hemp. Hemp seeds. Hemp seeds feed the hormones. They make sure that all of your adrenals, your pineal gland, your pituitary gland, your thyroid, and just your muscles even, because it's good protein, omegas, are flowing correctly. So I put the recommended dosage, what it says on there, and I make things easy, convenient. Put it in jars, wherever you need, so that you can grab it, right? So here is what I do. I just keep this already just there. And I'm going to steal the Nutribullet, right? So we're milling up our smoothie after we've drank our water, right? We've had our healing water. So depending upon what time you wake up, sometimes I'm up between three, four o'clock in the morning. Um, but when I when I have my smoothie, it's normally around around eight-ish because I'm working out a little bit after eight. All right. So already we have food, superfoods nutrient dense foods that's going to feed your cells so you can live like well already all right already packed now that we've added our superfoods we're just gonna drop some fruit in here some frozen fruit normally i like berries and mangoes or berries and honeydew for guys i would suggest berries and honeydew um but you can drop uh, mangoes in there too I'm just letting you know that, um, guys, you will appreciate the honeydew melanin in your smoothies. Girls, too, because it's super hydrating. But I'm always looking at foods that help support uh, each gender and their parts. All right? Hold. So... Normally, I will get, and I just went to my freezer, like big bags of fruit. So, today, we're going to use some blueberries, brain food that you have frozen than just eating them. It's a fruit that's better frozen. There is a antioxidant in it that is activated when it's frozen. All right, so I'm gonna put a half a cup of blueberries in my smoothie because I wanna power through with focus the rest of the day, right? Hold on. That's my refrigerator singing a song saying, close me, close me. <laughs> so I will do that. All right. So, blueberry, here we go. Half cup. So now I'm going to do half a cup of strawberries and then some mangoes. Now my very favorite um, juice that I normally use is a cold pressed apple juice. If you don't have time to juice the apples yourself, 
You can just get this cold pressed apple juice. I'm going to show you uh, which one I use. is absolutely my favorite can you see that hope you can and take a snapshot if you need to and it's fresh so make sure every time you shake it up because the pectin the peel they use a the whole peel could you know go to the bottom so you just shake it up And you put 10 ounces. I always use 10 ounces of liquid, and especially in my um, in my Nutribullet. You can use mango. Let me show you something else. You can get this from Costco. So you can switch it up. Either mango, nectar, it's so good. All right, or what did we say? The apple, but you know me, an apple a day, mm-hmm, keeps the doctor away. So um, 10 ounces, all right, which one? Oh, I know what you're talking about. This? Yeah, I use that too. So, um, sometimes I'll add a little quinoa in my smoothie too, depending upon if I'm going to do HIIT. If I'm going to do like HIIT workout or, you know, she go have me doing like a trillion jumper jacks and all these different like get this weight or get this. I'm like, I'll add some quinoa, you know. And did you know quinoa was a seed? And not a grain, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we go add the apple juice. And um, if you have a Nutribullet, it has like measurements and then it has uh, the word max, this right here. So you normally just pour it like right here, just like this, blend it up. So it's, I'm, it's, it'll make a lot of noise, so I'm not going to do it right now. But blend it up and go. And that's your smoothie. So it's real quick. You're out the door. Uh, winter, spring, summer, or fall. Uh, a smoothie in the morning is the way to go. So let me tell you, fruit is fortifying. It's energy. Uh, it will give you a pickup more than coffee. And you won't have the side effects of the caffeine where you're up and down addicted and need to get to another cup soon because now you drop down. So just grab the fruit. Fruit is fortifying. Fruit is energy. Fruit is fiber. You will get your daily recommended amount of fiber as well. We all need fiber. Why do we need fiber? Because it goes into the long as your body, as long as your body is, is as long as your intestines. So it goes through there, expand to push out all the waste. So you want fiber because it's in there having a party, right? And pushing out all the waste and you want that. We want that, right? We want to eliminate as many times as we eat in a day is as many times we want to eliminate in a day. Okay, Kim, how often do you air day? She said, how often do you if? And I did something uh, called what if I wanted to lose fat uh, last year. Fat, not weight, fat, okay? Intermittent fasting is wonderful. I intermittent fast every day. I've been doing it for about, I think five or six years, maybe a little more. Okay, so I intermittent fast from um, I cut off, my cutoff time is at 8 p.m. No later than 9. Like if I got stuck out or if I'm out of town, I may go to 9 o'clock. And then I start back up at 11 a.m. eating, like actual food. So, let me say this. When I do uh, start eating, 
Uh, as a matter of fact, I start eating at noon. Sorry, I start eating at noon. So from 12 to 8. It's from 12 to 8. So when I start eating, the first thing uh, that I do is I eat an apple to break it. I eat an apple. Uh, I'll show you about this size because you know they have so many sizes they they even have big big apples so i'll eat an apple about this size and then i'll start my salad and it will be a big salad like with mushrooms tomatoes zucchini cucumbers like a bunch of raw stuff so i eat raw in the middle of the day i eat raw in the middle of the day and my salad because you want the energy that it's going to take to break that roughage down done in the middle of the day. If you eat raw or roughage or a lot of salad at night, it's going to take so much energy to break that food down that you might not sleep as soundly as you need to. You know that REM sleep where you go deep? Were you even able to dream? You know, yeah, you won't be able to do that because your body is too much trying to, let me break this down, let me get this out of here, let me get this from the mouth to the esophagus to the digestive. It's like, let me, it's, we're fearfully and wonderfully made, right? And so it's doing a lot of work to break all of that down. Uh, Dr. Kim, how the daily is? Select days, yep, so every day. So any, any other questions? So, that uh, each and every one of us will have a daily routine that we'll start going into, especially since we're, we're, it's summertime now, right? So fruit is everywhere. Right now, cherries are in abundance. Uh, apples are in abundance. Peppers, so many good things and produce. Produce is like, yes, like this is my time because we can just grab all the fruit and all the veggies. So any other questions or any way that I can help you in the kitchen today? Kim's Kind Kitchen is live, taking questions. All right, so let me um, give you another tip. So we started in the morning, right? We know to hydrate to feel great because water is important because we are water, over 70% water. Then um, we're doing our healing water. And then after our healing water, we're doing our smoothie. And then after our smoothie, when we eat, we're doing an apple. Oh, great. We're doing an apple. And then after the apple, we're doing a salad. Let me share one quick reason why. And I've been doing an apple a day uh, probably for almost 10 years. Um, and the peel has pectin in it and pectin and the whole apple itself is a multi mineral powerhouse. Okay. Six weeks of eating an apple a day will give you an immune system of a youngster. Okay. It will give you your skin itself will glow. Uh, and 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 you will just be so energized and empowered. It gives you so much energy too. Then it's like almost like um, I want to say like Drano or like a plunger to your digestive system. So it goes in like a rotor rooter, right? And it does this throughout your whole digestive system, making sure with enzymes built into the apple that is cleaning everything out. And so it's like doing like, like, and sometimes even when you eat an apple, you might be like, oh, wait, wait, ho, ho, hold on. <laughs> That's that apple working. I love an apple every day. It, it totally ensures whatever you just ate, when you ate it, yeah, it's, it's out the door. I'm, that's, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say it like that. All right. So an apple, the salad. Uh, normally I say dinner is thinner. So around dinner time, I'm having stuff that's already broken down for me, meaning it's already been cooked. So it could be like, normally I'll do like some squash, some butternut squash, some kale, cooked kale. Let me show you some cooked kale. Some cooked kale, some quinoa, some mushrooms, 
some cherry tomatoes. And so I normally, when I cook, I put everything in my mason jar so it can last and so it can be fresh. And so I can pull it out every day, warm it up, do what I need to do. I'll have some um, chickpeas or um, some, some people call them garbanzo beans, garbanzo beans, chickpeas. Um, so I have some garbanzo beans, uh, squash, greens, mushrooms. And the mushrooms could be done in any type of way. Uh, for Father's Day, I prepared like three different types of mushrooms. There was a um, chicken, um, a chicken mushroom that I did. It's called the chicken of the forest mushroom and uh some oyster mushrooms and some portobello mushrooms i grilled them and then after i grilled them uh, some i jerked and others i did like a rosemary thyme so it could be like have a grilled taste so if you have um you know oh i i just love me i just gotta have meat but i also have to be healthy and I have to keep my blood pressure down and I have to get off meds and I need to do this and I need to do that. Uh, going meatless, is, it may be something that you wanna try. So let me share this with you. I'm a co-creator. I'm a co-creator with you. This is your journey as much as it is my happy journey to help you. So a lot of times, you know, people are like, would you cook this for me? Would you make this for me? Would you do this for me? This Kim Kind Kitchen and all that I've been doing, the 20 years that I've been on social media, has been to empower you. If I cannot empower you and make sure that you have K, the knowledge, I, the inspiration, and M, the motivation, when I'm not there for you or when I can't be in your kitchen, then I'm not a good coach i'm not a good co-creator this is so that you could keep it moving that's another acronym for kim k keep i it m moving in every area of your life guess what whether i am there or or whether i'm there or not you you gotta keep it moving you gotta have that knowledge inspiration and motivation so that you can make sure that each time you see kim's kitchen each time you see us coming on making something you're watching those youtubes you're in the kitchen you're doing what you need to do you're making those meals that heal you're making sure you feeding those cells so you can live life well you're making sure you're hydrated to feel great and so Go now. Uh, the It's Keep It Moving on YouTube. Uh, catch up on all the shows. Like, share, make a comment. Let us know some meals that you would like for us to make or like for us to cook that's vegetarian, vegan, plant-based. But what is your favorite meal that you may want us to convert? You may want us to put our spin on it. You may want us to show you the good swaps and the healthy swaps. That's what we're here for. That's what we want to do. Let me share some fitness ideas now because as you can see, um, the kitchen floor is long. I have walls. Normally when I am in the kitchen cooking, um, I'm going from one meal to the next. And it may be 15 minutes, it may be 20 minutes in between. I don't leave out of the kitchen or go do something else. I stay focused and I stay in the kitchen. So, you know what I'll do? I'll hit a wall and I'll do a wall sit. Or I'll hit the floor and I'll do a plank. We have things on timers, right? And so, I will literally like run it on this floor, just like get down and just plank. Or I'll do a wall set. Or I'll do a yoga move. I'll keep stretching. I'll stay flexible. But you can do and you can have it all while you're in the kitchen making sure that you and your family are fortified. So, Friday, as we emerge and everybody is leaving out and running to different places and getting certain things done, you are going to make sure that you listen, that you watch, that you eat, that you drink, that what did we say earlier? You say your prayers, do whatever you need to do to live life well, right? So we hope 
and then this kind Kim's kind kitchen um, live was inspirational to you and that uh, you will share it you will let somebody know um, that it was on you will be prayerful and careful as we reopen in all phases uh, on well in four phases on Friday make sure you have your own phases make sure that you are saying open prayers and gratitude every single day all right like like when you hear things even in the media and you see things on on you know tv or whatever let's not see them and hear them and not empower ourselves as we're hearing them and seeing them like let's not take it lightly anymore like i think that one of the things that have made me zero in even more this season is not taking things lightly like this like woke us all up i hope this whole like season i want to call it has awakened us all and it has awakened us to be what present it has awakened us to be positioned and poised it has awakened us to produce in the area of the gifts that our father god has given each and every one of us and one of the gifts that he's given all of us is to not die but live to thrive he said i wish above all that you what that's one of my favorite scriptures prosper and be in good health even as your soul prosper even as your emotions your mind your will your intellect your imagination prospers i want you to prosper look it is not god's will that that we have diabetes okay it is not his will that that we have certain diseases or diseases or things that have compromised or challenged our bodies it is not god's will that we live on pharmaceuticals it's this it's not we it says in psalms 139 that we were knitted that we were we were knitted okay we were fearfully and wonderfully made he he put us together every cell every tissue our bloods our organs our ligaments our systems our anatomy uh, our whole body he put us together so wonderfully that we can heal, our, heal ourselves okay you 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 cut yourself or you bruise yourself or anything in your bodies <laughs> start immediately antibodies start immediately going to the place where it's been wounded or hurt or where there's disorder and starts creating a healing factory within your body he created you to do that physician heal yourself oh my goodness heal thyself and you can heal yourself we can heal ourselves with so many things that we have in our kitchen that we have in our refrigerator that's fresh that's whole food that's not just something that's been sitting on the shelf but things that we can make ourselves so that we can heal ourselves so that we can be better so you know there is no fear of course the word of the lord says god hasn't given us a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind however when this thing hit you can't tell me that that certain people weren't like okay so how does this work how how do, how does this work for me what should i do what should i be doing what should i be telling my family what should i be telling my friends what should i be telling those that are in my circle or my community one of the things that i can tell you is from the beginning in the beginning when God created us and he breathed into us life and he breathed into us life abundantly. The, the word of the Lord says itself in Genesis. I, he breathed into our nostrils the breath of life. And then it goes on to say, and man became. Right then and there we became. 
And then it goes on to say, a living soul. So we already know in John 10 and 10 that he came that we may have life to the full, to the overflow. So no, I don't want a wheelchair. No, I don't, I, no, I don't want to be walking around with a breathing machine. No, I don't, I don't want to be limping. No, I don't want the two, three, three times a day, take a pill, remember to take a pill. No, I don't want to do that. It's not, it's not how we were created. It's not how we were created. Uh-uh. I want to move. I want to have flexibility. I want these people in the Bible was living to 900 years old, a thousand, 500, 400 years old. I'm like, uh, how long, Lord, how long can I live? Quality, walking, talking, being able to see, hear, ha ha have my brain, have my knowledge. How long? As long as we are willing and obedient, we will eat the good of the land. We will eat the good of the land. And so it's all laid out for us. You know, it's all laid out for us. It is so my desire and it is so my dream that, that when people are having conferences and even spiritual conferences uh, around the world, that they include the health component, that they include the fitness component. They include letting those people know that came to their conferences or to their experiences know the beauty and the importance of you yourself having the power to heal yourself and to maintain wholeness, wholesomeness, and health, all right? Prosperity, okay? He came that we may prosper and live a lavish life. Okay, and live it good in the abundance till it overflows. Like there are so many uh, references and point of references throughout the scriptures that always talks about prosperity, flourishing, life, dominion, living it. And so I'm going to say after we've heard all of this, because I truly believe that not only our father, has provided healing for us. He has also provided the power and the ability for us to walk in daily, daily, when I say daily, daily health, daily wholeness, daily. So Father God, we thank you. We thank you for this moment and this time. We thank you for this Kim's Kind Kitchen. We thank you, Lord God, that we are people that even say grace over our food. And we say grace, grace, and more grace. Grace, grace, every time, Lord God, we pick something up to put it in our mouth, Lord God, your grace is sufficient. Your word said you will bless our food and our water and take sickness, illness, and disease out of our midst. So thank you, Lord Father for what you are taking out of our midst. Every time we bless our food, every time we make happy, we make abundant, we make prosperous, we make peace, our food. Blessed is all of what I just said. So every time we bless our food and we say grace and we make sure it's bringing peace to our bodies, prosperity to our bodies, happy to our bodies, we will live to eat the good of the land in the land of the living in Jesus' mighty name we pray amen you know what i believe you have a whole new appetite i decree and declare a whole new appetite a whole new way of eating a whole new way of of craving the good foods that that allow your cells and everything to thrive in your body. So I even speak over your cravings that God will even give you a brand new palate, a brand new taste buds, that even your conscience that may need to even be cleansed from the different things that's been put before you to make your taste buds, you know, salivate, that those things in Jesus' name will be uprooted and burned at the root. Those things that even we may have even had to eat to even, you know, 
thrive or survive or those things that has been put before us to say you got to thrive and survive on scrap things and on things that are less than no the bible even gives us that in the beginning he gave us the fruit he gave us the veggies and and those are our meats and hey what's up lawrence those are the things that god has given us to live and to thrive and so we thank you father that you've given us a new appetite you've given us a new outlook you, you, you're giving us and empowering us with all the knowledge that we need to receive the promises. See, the promises of God are yea and amen. They have never been no. See, see, never been no. And guess what? You're going to live to receive all the promises that God has for you. And you're going to do your part. You're going to do your part to be able to travel around the world and see the world. You're going to do your part to be able to speak up and decree and declare the works of the Lord. When he said, when you say, I will not die, but live to declare the works, the works. He said he won't forsake the works of his hands. You got it? So I will not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. You declaring God is good to you. You declaring he sustained you and brought you out and brought you through. Come on, you declaring it. So I love, I love you and me, all of us coming out of this emerging like what? The Bible said without a smell of smoke. You coming out, you coming out we're ro looking like roses like, like what? What, what? What, what what happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this revival, this reset, <laughs> this, this start over has leveled the playing field, okay? Yeah. The, everybody was quarantined. Everybody was sheltered. Nobody couldn't get out to the places that they may love or, or wanted to go. So it made us all pause and ponder and think that, yep, there is a great creator. <laughs> a great creator that sustained us and continuously sustained us. Yes, to reset sissy, to start all over. And guess what? You can do that right now. You can do that right now with a glass of water. You can do that right now with a cup of water. You could do a personal reset in one day by taking one day to do, hey Veronica, all liquid. That, do you know just that one day of reset will start the healing wheels flowing in your body? All liquid, all liquid, waters, teas, coconut waters, smooth, smooth all, all liquid will reset and start the cycling of healing in your body in one day. Come on now. <laughs> this thing ain't kicked us. Kick back. My mother used to always say, uh, you may take a licking and keep on kicking, but kick back whatever kicked you, right? Whatever was trying to lick you, kick it back, okay? So <laughs> that's what we're going to do, all right? So I love y'all. I'm out of time, but I'm never out of love. And I just wanted to come on live with Kim's Kind Kitchen and make sure we straight as we enter in these different phases. And we already in phase four. And they said that before we get to phase five, we have to make sure about everybody's immunity. And we have to make sure uh, that we have any vaccines. Uh, my vaccine will be me making sure that I did the work, that I did what I was supposed to do to reset and make sure that I'm on point. And we can do it. We, y'all, we can do it. We, 
We, we, we go do it, right? Let's say that. We go do this. We got this. <laughs> we got, we focused. We zeroed in now. We, we, we know what to do. We have our routine. We got our coach. That's me. We got our coach and we know what to do. We go start getting in this kitchen, doing what we supposed to do. When I click off from y'all, I'm going to zoom this, have this smoothie, eat me a salad. All right. I have worked out already. Yes, we got this. I have went on my walk. Yeah, yeah. And my evening walk, I do a morning walk and a evening walk. Okay. And then I train at least three days out of the week. You might can't do that. All right. You might can't get a trainer. But what? Guess what? You got a chair. Right. You, you got a wall. Wall sits. Every day, you can hit this floor with planks. That's your core. It's things that we all can do so that we can live life well. Talk to you later. Faith, food, fitness, fun, the formula that fortifies families.